So today we're going to unbox this smartwatch. I bought it for $80 on Amazon. It is called Bluetooth Smartwatch. Kyoker 1.3 inches IPS round touchscreen water resistant smartwatch phone with SIM card slot, sleep monitor, heart rate monitor, and dot 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 dot. So it has a 1.3 inch IPS LCD round screen, 2.5D radium capacitive touchscreen, non air gap, resolution is 240 by 240, 260,000 colors, wonderful display and brilliant mirror effect, side 2 in 1 card slot, maximum 16 gigabyte memory card, and it has a large 340 milliamp capacity polymer battery. And to be honest, it looked pretty and feature rich, so I decided to get it and give it a try. So we're going to open this box and take a look at it. Very lovely box. It says Smartwatch. I'm not sure if that's the brand or if that's just a great generic logo they have. So there it is. The Smartwatch. Let's take it out of here and get out of the packaging. And that is it. And uh, it feels, you know, it has, this feels like metal. It's cold, like metal. It might be some kind of plastic. And it feels like it's glass as well, and not plastic. It's a rubber wristband. And let's take this silly thing off, because I'm going to use it. Ah, now that's a nice shiny screen. Not scratched up. So on the left, it has two buttons in that little hole. Could it be a reset button hole? I'm not sure. I'll look at the instructions. And let's spin it around to the other side. It's got a SIM card slot. That's exactly what that looks like. It, and on the back, it's got a sensor. And this is the charging port right there. And this looks like to be a little speaker down here. So let's go ahead and see what else is in the box. Here we've got the charger. And you see it has those specific little notches to charge it with. So I'll try that later. Or I might have to try it now and continue the video later if it does not come with a charge. Over here is the little tab to take out the SIM card slot. It's interesting that it can have its own SIM card. I guess it'll have its own phone service and everything, so let's try it. The smartwatch. So that's that. So that's that. We've got the charger. So let's Look at this, here's the instructions and user manual. Please refer to this manual before using the product. Version 1.0. Boy, that'll make you feel really good. The first version. Yep, that's the SIM card slot, pinhole. And so basically, according to the instructions, on the left side is power. Oh, I'm holding it upside down, possibly. Um, the back button is next to the microphone, the power button is opposite, so there's power button. I'll hold it down. And it's starting. Oh, I was holding it upside down. So yeah, power button, back, microphone. So I would like English. And I have a smartwatch. It has 50% battery out of the box. So basic operating. So I just turned it on, of course. I have to download an app called Fundoware App, which is, thank goodness, available for Android. So let's do that real fast. We'll go to my app search here on the handy OnePlus 2, and it's Fundo. Fundoware, apparently and it's searching the Play Store Fundoware by Shenzhen Fun Yen Technology Co. Limited. Install. Lovely. Installed. Let's open it. So you can receive 
notifications such as your email, SMS calls directly to your watch, remote camera, music player, calculator, stopwatch, calendar, alarm, all on your watch. No way your alarm, your alarm will be on a watch. Amazing. Health and fitness. Track your movement, sleep and heart rate and pedometer, sleep monitor, sedentary reminder, and heart rate reader. Start. So I imagine it'll... Novice on the road. Thank you very much, if, I guess. So I need to connect my phone to the Bluetooth. So apparently what I had to do to kick it off is I didn't know the name. So what I did is I uh, first I went on here and I tried to pair with the phone. Apparently that didn't work. So then I went back to here because I knew the name because it asked for it. And it was KW18. And then I went here to the Bluetooth thing. And I'll show you again. Disconnect. Look for Bluetooth. Start search. And I know now that the watch is called KW18, so I connected to it. And then it went through the steps, and it said, Smart Device Connected. And Smart Device Connected. And now we're in running, working order. I can swipe up to get to the menu. Call logs, it'll look at all my phone's call logs. Okay. And... Pedometer, sleep monitor, sedentary heart rate. And you get a nice notification whenever you get a message. Music. I probably have some music on my phone, so I think it'll probably go there. Play. Can you play something? Um, this is the back button. Video. Storage not ready. Memory card removed files. There's no files on the watch. So supposedly there's a space for a memory card. I didn't talk about that in the instructions. Now did it. Okay, so over on the side there's a space for a trans flash card and a SIM card. I'll open that up just to check it out real fast. There we go. So here is, yep, there's space this this side's for a SIM card, obviously. And this side is for a micro SD or a trans flash card, whatever you want to call it. So let's just put that back in there. But I'm not going to put one in there because I don't have anything to listen to on it. Although I could put a card in there. Nice. So let's go back to the watch. What else can we do here? So as far as video, it's to watch video on the phone music, whatever is on the phone I guess, but it's not finding it for some reason. And a remote camera, Android. Launch camera failed. Is it possible I need to have the camera running? Let's turn on a camera. Now the camera is running. Do I need to do that? Remote camera. Android. Okay. Thank you for the notification. So, as you can see, whatever I point at with this phone, it is showing remotely on the Bluetooth. That's a pretty interesting feature. Let's see what I would use it for. So that's pretty cool. Next! So if I close the camera, I guess the camera would go away. Yep, it goes away. Notification, this must be notification settings, possibly, or just new notifications that are coming in. That's a good notification. Smart device connected. Settings, Bluetooth settings, clock, sound, volume, display, units. Motion, magic voice, I want to see what that is. All right, under sound, alert, type, ringtone, notification tone, and that's it. Volume. Multimedia, ring, notification, and that's it. It's good I got volume. Display, wallpaper, main, main menu style. I could have, I have one option for menu style, two options for, three options for theme. Brightness, screen timeout, how long it takes for the screen to turn off. Units. Thank you for the message. That's a Facebook group. 
units. Metric Imperial. I am in the US, so I'll put Imperial. And Motion. What does Motion do? Um, magic Voice. I guess I clicked on that. Uh, magic Voice. That's, I'm a men, so I'll do men. What does Motion do? Flip to mute incoming calls. Flip to mute alarms. Wake up gesture. Shaking switch main menu. Shake to answer the call. Hmm. I don't know if I would like any of those, but I guess you get used to them. Flight mode, international, auto sync. I'm not sure. Language English. Okay, those are the settings. And I guess that's the different theme I chose. Let's see what the third one is. And that's display. Oh, that's a wallpaper. Theme 3. What do we got here? I got the ocean. Alright. But it's not as con contrasty for this. But it's not as contrasty for this scene. For the camera. So I'm going to put it back. So we can see what's going on here. I'm going to put back on theme 1. And, yeah, it's easier to see. After settings, calculator, alarm, calendar. Calendar will be pretty handy. Can I see more? So, so far it hasn't auto-synced, apparently. My other calendar from the, my phone. So today's... You just switch through the days. Third, fourth, fifth. You just scroll through the days. Now if it if it showed my events, I would probably see something here, but no, it does not show events from your Google Calendar, I guess. Stopwatch, files, I guess that's files on the phone or on that card. Files from the watch. Nothing there. And search. What will I search? Oh, search finds the phone. Stop. I've searched enough. That's annoying as hell. Back. QR code. And there's the QR code. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but there must be lots of nice things. The dialer. So I'm turning off my Bluetooth headset. And now that's not going to be connected anymore. So now this can be connected phone and media. So you have to make sure your Bluetooth headset is not connected to it if you want to make calls from it. Alright, Simple Mobile. You're not getting away from me this time. 878. 7908. Call. 1 plus 2. And it's calling customer care. Where does the sound go to? Thank you for calling Simple Mobile. For English, press 1. Para Espanol, box and go. Call may be recorded for quality assurance. Oh, there it is. I'd like to press 1. Nah, I think I'll hang up. End the call. Okay, so apparently from the watch, I can call, I can talk, I'm going to talk to my wrist. And I can also dial 1 if I want to, to speak to an operator. Lovely. I know I can send a message, although this screen is pretty bad. So let's do... Yeah, I'm not typing anything on here. If there's like a voice typing type thing, then that would be good, but smart ABC, numeric, yeah, there's no voice input here, but there's smart ABC, so let's try. Hello, oops, space. I'm... Hello. I just typed... screamed it. Okay, I guess I'll save this message.
So how does it look? Does it look fancy? Sort of looks... Probably would look a little fancier if the band wasn't made out of rubber. I sort of want to see the different watch faces. Where are those? So, settings, I guess? Clock. Clock type. That's number three. Ooh, I like that one. It makes it look like a really fancy watch. There's that one. There's this one with lots of little gadgets. And that one again. So I've got four. One, two, three, four clock faces. Let's put this one on for now. So, do I look fancy now? Do I look like a millionaire with a fancy watch with no um, numbers on it? Tell me in the comments. Measuring. What's my heart rate? It's probably pretty high due to frustration. 62 ppm. Does that pull over here on the phone? Heart rate. It does. There's my BPM. The average resting heart rate is six, between 60 to 100 beats per minute. The average sleeping heart rate is 50 to 70 beats per minute. Thank you for that information. At least I know something is healthy about me. That is me flustering around this new smartwatch. I'm gonna wear it. Yes, that's this smartwatch. Smart watch. Very smart. So yeah, I had some trouble with it, but most of it was my own fault. Oh well. That is it.